the double segmental baffle single segmental baffles we have seen that there are three types of cut horizontal vertical and the rotated one now double segmental baffles use as a process requirement usually recommended for the vibration prone conditions these are used for the process requirement this is not the one which a mechanical design desi designer decides it is been decided by the process based upon the process requirement the residence time and if there is some vibration uh, is observed then to uh, take or uh, take uh, over that vibration or to reduce that vibration or to remove that vibration they might have to go for double segmental or triple segmented baffles so if there is a steam application where the high velocities are there so in such a cases these double or triple segmented baffles are provided if the steam is on shell side along with impingement plate impingement plate requirement we are separately going to see now double segmental baffles how these will look like so let's say these are the double segmental why it is called as a double segmental because this middle cut is been done and here you can see that uh, this is the first baffle arrangement which is having two cut uh, two portions right one is this another is this and after that there will be cutting uh, coming and over uh, over uh, overlapping baffle like this so it will overlap like this okay so this is first baffle arrangement this is second baffle arrangement so this has been done in two different segments this is one segment this is another segment that's the reason why it is called as a double segmental baffles <clears throat> so this is first segment what we are keeping and here this is the second segment what we are keeping this will be the cut in this case and in this case the central one will be the cut and this is how it is going to be placed so it will be an alternating arrangement so first will be this arrangement and second would be this again this and again this so how the flow will happen right so the flow will come from two different nozzles let's say these two baffles are placed at the at the for interim uh, at the topmost position of the vertical heat exchanger where from the fluid is coming so on this side also one nozzle provided this side also one nozzle provided the flow will come from both these now uh, it will come over these uh, two baffles this one and this one and then it will travel like this and then fall down it will travel like this and then it will fall down onto the other baffle which is the central one which will be located at some distance and then it will fall down on this there will be some overlap provided it will be not having exact size of that cut so it will be having some more size so that whatever flow is coming that won't be directly passing through the baffle so it will fall down onto this central baffle and then it will move like this then it will move like outward it will fall down and then move up uh, move outward and from one side it is falling from other side it is falling then again it will fall onto the these two segmental baffles which are placed after the central one so these are before then central baffle after again the segmental after that also again the central segmental arrangement would be there we are going to see it in 3d view also so that we will better understand it so how the arrangement would be there so let's understand the flow direction so let's say these are the baffle arrangement without tube so that we will better understand the flow direction so you can see over here that first these two baffles are there and then the central one which is overlapping it is not exactly at the center it is having some overlap so that whatever fluid will be coming so that flow uh, that fluid will fall down and then it will distributed like this so how the flow direction is like this so whatever flow is coming from this nozzle and this nozzle it will follow individual path like this it will follow individual path like this now imagine if there are tubes so the tubes which are very close to the nozzle from where the fluid is coming and there are more chances of the flow induced vibration so these tubes are supported by this initial segment right and these tubes will be properly uh, supported the unsupported span would be very less as compared to the central ones so these tubes will be protected from vibration and central ones will be uh, having hmm, uh, placed inside the outside tube so it will be uh, protected uh, because the flow whatever is coming by the time it reaches to the central tube it will uh, uh, be 
uh, it will be calmed down it will be reduced its velocity its velocity would have been down so because of that there won't be much uh, damage that would be done at the central unsupported span but here uh, where the vibration prone zone is much more there we are providing these baffles so those are supporting from both the side whatever tubes are coming so this is how it will be protect, uh, protected so this is double segmental baffle so from process point of view also you can see there is a flow direction changes across the baffle like this. This will also give the advantage over single segmental baffles. So based upon the vibration requirement, these baffles can be selected. So how this will look like? This will look like this. Let's say the nozzles are mounted over here and here. So the flow will come from both sides, fall down from here and here it will move. Again, fall down here and here it will move. So like this one side and like this serpentine motion from other side. So these are called as a double segmental baffles. So I hope you must have uh, <clears throat> clearly now visualized how this could be, how this arrangement would be rather, right? So this is with tube. Now these double segmental baffles, this is just the skeleton where the tire order and spaces are shown so that you will better uh, clearly see how the baffles will be arranged and after tubes it will be looking like this so you can imagine now if the flow is coming from here and here exactly at the center whatever tubes are there by the time flow reaches to um, that uh, central uh, tubes it will be uh, uh, reduced its velocity and there, there would not be that much damage that could happen to the central tubes as compared to the peripheral tubes so this would be the tube bundle uh, of these double segmental baffles how it would look like so this is the tube bundle and this is the entire heat exchanger how it would look like so let's say here you can see there are two nozzles from which the fluid will be coming and then it will move like this and then the outlet would be taken out so i hope you must have understood this double segmental baffles